Hey guys, what's up? JK with Elevated Recovery here. Now guys, porn addiction aside, the one thing that sucks the most is relapsing. And in my years of living with porn addiction, I've stayed off porn and relapsed more times than I choose to remember. And I actually vividly remember the first time that I relapsed after my longest streak without porn or masturbation. Now at that time, uh, it was such a challenge to even go one week without pornography. But this time, I had managed two full months. But I relapsed on day 62. After that relapse, I felt three main things. And, and the first was disbelief and confusion. Like, how did this happen? I was doing so well. Uh, the next thing was shame. And next was I felt less confident in myself. I basically looked at myself as someone who couldn't be trusted to keep his word. Now, if you're watching this, there's a good chance that you can relate quite well to all three of those emotions. I'd like you to do something for yourself for a moment though. <clears throat> Think back to your last relapse, specifically the week before your relapse. Now, do me a favor and honestly answer these questions that I'm going to ask you. Did you have a recovery plan? Did you have boundaries or actions that you were going to take if you were triggered? Were you checking in with anyone regularly? Anyone at all? Like, was there someone who was helping you out with your accountability? Was there someone keeping you accountable? Were you being proactive about your recovery? Um, this means like, were you being aware of the places that you went, the media that you exposed yourself to, or the thoughts that you were having? Or were you just a little bit more relaxed about everything? Did you have a self-care plan, a support network of people who actually understood your problem? You know, that's part of self-care. Were you meditating? Were you using affirmations? Were you exercising? Were you eating right? Were you managing every stressful situation that came your way? Were you getting enough sleep or taking time off to relax? The truth is, if you relapsed, there's bound to be a no as the answer to some of those questions or a no to all of them. Now, all those questions that I just asked are related to something called recovery. When you are in recovery, your brain will inevitably reboot with time and you'll be free of your compulsive behavior with pornography. And it's that simple. Now it's simple, but it's not easy. Now, so why aren't most guys in recovery? Well, I realized after years of relapsing myself that our way of viewing recovery from porn use is actually a little bit skewed. See, wanting to be in recovery is not recovery. Installing a filter is not recovery. Staying off pornography for 90 days and doing a challenge is not recovery. Changing our habits is not recovery. Those questions that you answered no to earlier, now that's recovery. Now many of us think that a relapse is an event. We think that it's something that happened, but that's wrong. You see, a relapse is not one event. A relapse begins when you start missing parts of your recovery. For instance, before your relapse, were you aware of your triggers? Let's say, for instance, did you feel entitled? Like, you know what? I've been doing so well without porn and masturbation. It's been a hard day and I deserve to watch some porn. Did you tell yourself that? Were you watching YouTube videos with sexy content, you know, those videos that have triggering thumbnail? Did you quit doing something that was really good for you, such as working out regularly or even eating well? Were you frustrated with a particular situation or dealing with strong emotions? Maybe something happened in your family, a family issue. Now, when you experience any and you don't fix them immediately, your relapse has already begun. Again, a relapse 
is not an event. A relapse is actually a state of mind. So how do you tell exactly when your relapse begins if it isn't a solitary event, if it isn't an event on its own? Well, here are another set of questions that I'll ask you, which, and you can ask yourself to help you determine if your relapse has actually begun. So who did you call after your relapse? What was the consequence that you applied to yourself due to that behavior? What did you say? I'm going to, you know, because I relapsed, I'm going to do this as a punishment or a consequence. Did you change anything in your environment after that relapse? So, for example, if you found out that a certain site on your device wasn't blocked by your filter, did you block it immediately? What sort of self-care behavior did you engage in after the relapse? So what did you do to make yourself feel better mentally and emotionally? Now, again, if your answer to any of those questions is, listen, man, I, I just didn't do any of those things, or if you only applied a few of them, guess what? You're still relapsing. And I, I don't mean to sound negative about it. I just want to be as real with you as possible. Now, some of you might be realizing at this point that you've been in a state of relapse for years or even months. I want you to write this down on a piece of paper and stick it somewhere you can see it. Write down, your relapse is never over till you bring someone else in. Now, I'm going to shoot another video later on today because I got to go to the gym now. And I'm going to talk about what I call some of the relapse red flags, some warnings, and how you can become aware of them. But in the meantime, I'd like to know from you how this information that I've shared today has changed the way that you view your relationship with pornography. And I'd like you to respond in the comment section below. Mm -hmm.